everyone, Bandit here. Welcome back to the channel. We're back in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And for today's flight, we're going to do one more flight in the Citation Longitude featuring the Avionic Aircraft Update 1 Beta. I believe we're in the third iteration of the Beta, and it should be out later this month, January 2023. We're going to put it through its paces by doing a VATSIM flight from uh, Hamburg to Amsterdam. And it's about a 42 minute flight. So hopefully we'll have some challenges and see how we can use this plane in the VATSIM environment. For those of you new to the channel, welcome aboard. Uh, if you haven't been here before, take time to subscribe, sign up for notifications, and you'll see videos when I put them out in the future. And for those of you uh, joining me again, welcome back, and thanks for joining me. And without further ado, let's hop in the cockpit and get things going for today's flight. Okay, we're on the ramp here at GA Parking in Hamburg and I do have uh, scenery for this airport and we're just going to use the stock uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator scenery for Amsterdam. So let's get rid of the yoke here and we'll get the standby power turned on. Get our standby attitude indicator, get our main batteries turned on. And we'll check our voltage. We're just going to do a battery start for the APU here. So 26 volts, good battery power. We'll check our, go to our perf our systems page here. Go down and we'll check summary. And we've got uh, good hydraulic fluid and oxygen levels for the flight today. And our fuel is 4,280 pounds and we need about 3,600 pounds. I put it back extra on just in case we have any delays going into Amsterdam. Could be quite busy going into there. Okay, so that's good. So we've got good voltage. Let's start the APU. Just watch the APU power up here. The APU hits 100%, the APU generator should take the load up and then we'll be good to uh, continue. So the discharge lights are gone, the APU is taking the load for the electrics, and yeah, we're good to go. Um, fuel, CAG are good. Lights, put on our seatbelt lights now, and we're going to be starting here momentarily. We'll put our anti collision light on now. Okay, so that's it for that. Uh, we'll just get our pre-flight, we'll load our airport in. Uh, Echo Delta Delta Hotel for Hamburg. And EHAM for Schiphol, Amsterdam. Okay, uh, we can go down and put in our weights while we're here too. So our perf page we'll get our weight payload sorry we have operating weight two crew payload two pasture 100 pounds of cargo uh, take off we'll sink our fuel with what's on board and landing for our reserves we have let's throw that in now and the reserves are going to be 16 100 pounds. That's all set to go. And then we'll do our perf data once we load in the runway for our takeoff data. And our alternate today is uh, Brussels. Okay, so let's uh, go get our clearance. Um, what I use when I'm flying on VATSIM is I use a uh, app called uh, Volanta. It's by Orbix. And it gives you an overview of all the ATC, active ATC. So these are all the active flights on VATSIM here. You see there's a bunch of traffic going into Amsterdam here. We're in Hamburg. And then when you click on, you zoom into an airport and you click on the airport, you get all the list of ATC frequencies associated with that airport. And I can just click on the ATIS and then I get the ATIS for Hamburg. ATIS Echo, uh, weather is the Isles approach, 05. Runways used, 05 for landing, 33 for takeoff, transition level 60. 
uh, we're passing contact 2,000 feet contact uh, radar on 19.525, wind 0 to 0, 6 knots, cab OK, temperature do 2, dew point minus 1, QNH is uh, 1032. So that's what I use for the app here, and then I can kind of anticipate what frequencies we're going to have. So ground, tower, uh, going to be one of these two frequencies for approach, and then en route will be this frequency. And you can also click on them here. You can see 123.925. If I highlight over this area here, this is the en route, 123.925. You can see approach here, 19.525. So you can get lots of information from this Volanta app uh, for uh, using Vatson here. So let's uh, go to ground, 1217. We'll probably get our clearance. And we will. Fueling 5 Tango Papa, I need to copy clearance. We're on stand 704. Oh, yeah, 5 Tango Papa. 5 Tango Papa, maximum flight level for Düsseldorf, Bafen departures 240. Is that why I change your flight level on your flight plan to 240. Set up approved, clear the Düsseldorf, Bafen, Tri, Golf, departure, flight plan route, climb wire set 5,000 feet, score 1,000. Startup approved, uh, change flight level 240, bottom pick off departure flight and food, plant bias at 5,000 feet, squad 1,000, during 5 Tango Papa. During 5 Tango Papa, read back, correct. Remember ground, it's uh, Citation Delta Bravo Uniform Zulu Zulu, stand 704 with Echo Airways to Schiphol. Delta Bravo Uniform Zulu Zulu. Hammer Gabriel, information, echo correct, I'm approved, clear, Amsterdam, support, visa for golf departure, flight plan route, can I exit 5,000 feet, squawk 1,000. Okay, we're uh, cleared to uh, Schiphol uh, via the uh, Weezer for golf, uh, just climb 5,000, squawk 1,000 for uh, uniform Zulu Zulu. In the sun, Zulu Zulu read back, correct? Okay, that's the uh, anticipated um, departure we, we had. One thing with mission echo regarding I for Amsterdam. So let's that's put in our squawk. Five one the Tango Hamburg April. One thousand. The day information echo current up proof. Kid Amsterdam. And we'll Visa put in our departure. rest of our flight plan. Five thousand feet. Squawk one thousand. So the procedure is going to be the departure. Uh, will be the Wiesen for, for Golf, off runway 33. And I'll just look at all those waypoints. Pretty good. So we'll load that. And then the rest of our route from uh, Wiesen, we're going Airway November 125. To Echo, Echo Lima. And we'll load that airway. And uh, yeah, we can uh, load the arrival once we get airborne. Okay, so we have our flight plan in. Um, we will put in our altitude, clear to 5,000. The runway heading. For 33. During 5 Tango Papa, push back approved face off. Is going to be 330. We'll put that in. Scandinavian 102, request IFR clear. And our track should be loaded in. We'll put in uh, FMS. Scandinavian and there we go. We have our track of 330. Up to 500 feet. Information echo covers up approved clear. And we'll uh, set our altimeter. 1032. Okay, I'll put our clear to ECAM 1G. Check for an auto for the uh, transponder. And uh, we should be ready for start. So let's just go through the before start checklist. So starting engines. Uh, Lights, any collision light is on, throttles are at idle, and we'll uh, do this start, right engine start, and then left engine start. So I had somebody comment on my previous video that I was starting the aircraft wrong, that I should engage the starter first, and then at a certain percentage of N2 
hit the run button. Uh, I reached out to the working Tyler group who are doing this airplane, and they said uh, the way I was doing it was the correct way, which is engaging run and then hitting the starter. And you can kind of see that here. I, I can't engage if I hit the starter. It won't engage until I actually hit run. You can press and hold it if you need to do uh, if you need to do uh, a uh, engine clearing procedure using the starter, but but otherwise you have to hit run first. So I'm just gonna. I'm not a real light one or two pilot. I don't never flown a lot two before. I don't know the correct procedure, but I'm I. Uh, just going by what the working title group has put into this aircraft, and I think they have one or two pilots on their on their uh, working group. So I'm just going to use a procedure that they have outlined, which is hit run first and then engage the starter. So let's call for engine start. So let's clear all around. Scandinavian 101, start up and push back a proof face west. Start up. Push back proof, face west, Scandinavian, 101. Round uh, Delta Bravo Uniform Zulu Zulu, stand 704 Echo for engine start. Delta Bravo Uniform Zulu Zulu, start up approved, report ready for taxi. Oh, welcome. Okay, startup's approved, so we'll... You can 7825, Hamburg, April 9th. Engage starter. You can see the starter now stays engaged. We've got uh, N2 increasing, start activated. We need minimum 32 PSI for the start, so that's good. We have light off. T's and P's are increasing nicely. Hello, April Moyne, it's Charming 4 no November, correction. Charming Wings 4 9 November, position 0 9 information echo request, start up this mission. You get a little flicker when the generator kicks on. Hello, Wings 4 9 November, Starters cut out, Hamburg, stabilized. T's and P's are in the green. And we're stable on number two. Let's start number one. You're being seven off a golf push back approved face out. Run, engage a starter. We have start, good pressure. Push and start approved, facing south, Zulu one, orange line, you're going seven off a golf. Looking for light off, and we have light off. Hamburg ground, Asian 7825, requesting taxi runway 33. Three. Egan 7825, I'm going to be in Squawk 2501. Squawk 2501, Agent 7825. Starter cutout, generator takes a load. Agent 7825, taxi unit runway 33 via Zulu 1 and Bravo. Okay, so generators are on the load. External power we didn't use is disconnected. And both generators are on, and we can shut off the APU at this time. Expect pushback in two minutes due to taxi traffic. Okay, so we have a good start. So let's put in our V-speeds now for the departure. So we get our takeoff data. Uh, Hamburg, runway 33, load the winds and the temperature. We have uh, 12,300 feet available. We'll use the standard default uh, takeoff settings. They're good, and we'll accept those speeds, and they are ready to transfer over. And we'll go set our trims. So from the chart on the checklist, uh, it's about negative 4.5. And rudder, aileron are in the green, so trims are set. So let's do our before taxi checklist now. Flight controls, we can check those. So we'll go to the flight controls page. We have full nose down, up, aileron left, right. Speed brakes, still have the speed brake bug where it doesn't go all the way. Flaps. <laughs> we will. Pull flaps and we'll set takeoff flaps. So uh, flight controls are checked. And we'll go to our pre flight page now. Take off data, V speeds are set, uh, flight instruments are set. So we got runway heading, FMS up to 5,000 feet. And we're going to be in FMS speed for the. Uh, for the takeoff. Okay, so that's good. Altimeters are set. And the fuel elevation is good. Egan 7825, Hamburg apron. Uh, trims are set and taxi light to go. So we're ready to taxi out. And I'll just uh, brief the departure here before we get going, just so you know what we're doing. 
So we're doing the uh, Wizen 4 Golf off of 33. And so we are going to be taking off runway 33, climbing up. So we have a maximum 2 210 speed, so that's why I'll keep it in FMS so it won't exceed that speed until Delta Hotel uh, 254. And then we have 260, 5,000 feet or above. And then we go up to uh, LSOP and then out to eventually Wizen. So climb up 5,000 feet, and I'm just, I don't need to use VNAV because we just have 5,000 feet or above, so we're just going to climb in a flight level change climb mode. So that's it for our... So I think we're ready to uh, head out. Okay, let's give uh, ground a call here when we can get our taxi clearance. Not a very long taxi. I'm going to show you where we are here. We're here on the ramp, so it'll probably be uh, a bright turn out here. We'll pick your golf, and we take off from golf off uh, runway 33. Ground, uh, Delta Bravo Uniform, Zulu Zulu, ready taxi. Delta Bravo Uniform, Zulu Zulu, taxi to holding point, runway 33 via Yankee 3 and Golf. Okay, via Yankee 3 and Golf, uh, Delta Zulu Zulu. Transavia 5-1, Tango, pushback approved, face south, Zulu 1, orange line. Push approved, face south, orange line, south Tango. Okay, Yankee 3, so we're right here, so it'll be Yankee 3 and then Golf out to the... Five, Bravo 1, hasn't shot that. Eastern 7825, that's negative, that's Bravo 5 for you. Okay, we'll get our taxi light on. Release our parking brake. And you kind of have, I'll just go to the outside view here. So we're going to head out to uh, Yankee 3, just off the left, but we have to do a left-hand turn to get out to you. Uh, Yankee 3 there. Okay. Let's... Uh, That's a power. Again, 7825, contact Hamburg Tower on 126 SMA 850. 126 SMA 850, agent Other aircraft here. Okay, it should do the rest of our taxi checks on our pre flight there. Everything should be in the green, so we'll do that on the way out. This is Gulf here. Okay, so we're heading out on golf, so let's do our taxi checks. Pre flight page, so everything is in the green. We checked. Go back to traffic over here. Uh, that's good. Brakes are checked. Runway heading is set. Flaps are takeoff. Ice protection, uh, I don't think we need anything right now. Weather radar not required, and briefing is complete, so taxi checks are complete. And golf holding point should be straight ahead here. Delta Bravo Uniform Zulu Zulu Concert Hamburg Tower on 126 SMA 850. Goodbye. 26850 Delta Zulu Zulu. Goodbye. And I'm anticipating for the departure, our frequency will be 19.525, so I'll put that in. OK, 
Okay, so uh, all we're left to go is clear for takeoff. We just have to uh, arm the autofollow once we get the power up and hit toga, and we're good to go. So that's it. Get our landing lights on. You too. Bye bye. So we're ready to go. Our uh, Citation Delta Bravo uniforms of the Zulu ready to go for 3 3 departure. Delta Zulu Zulu, moin, line up one way 3 3. Line up 3 3, Delta Zulu Zulu. Okay, clear the right, line up. Get our landing light on, taxi light off. FM, clear to cross runway 05 and full information. Get Toga. Aircraft. Get our command bars. Disregard. Right down. Level 2, there's a parallel departing aircraft from the intersecting runway. Just departing the starting departure rule. Level 2 inside. Okay, we're lined up. Okay, runway heading looks good. Hamburg Tower, good evening, Corsair 5, one thing on the short One departing aircraft ahead of us. Corsair 5, one thing, report ready. We are fully ready. Corsair, call you. The GM7825 set sport mode, Charlie. Squawk mode, Charlie, Agent 7825. Should be lots of traffic going into uh, Hamburg, uh, or sorry, into Schiphol today. Uh, another thing they fixed, I'm in legacy mode with the mouse, and you can see the highlighted blue screen for the pane selection here, and that works in legacy mode now, so I can transfer back and forth. See, just the arrow pops up to transfer. Yeah, so the Zulu clear takeoff, runway 33, Delta Zulu Zulu. Okay, clear for takeoff, we'll advance the power. And we have 5 1 Tango, line up runway 33. The light is on. Set full power, RMB auto throttle, you can see auto throttle hold, kicks in. Airspeed's alive, 60 knots. T's and P's are all good. There's V1, rotate. Pause the rate, gears up. Speed's good, flaps up. Through 400 feet, autopilot on, flight level change, nav mode. So we have climb, thrust set, FMS tracking, autopilot auto throttle gauge, flight level change, 200 knots, altitude to armed for 5,000 feet. After takeoff checklist, gear is up, flaps are up. And our FMA is set correctly. It's targeting 210 knots for that speed restriction. It overshoots a little bit when you're this light with fuel and pasture load. It's 4,000 for 5,000. The ATIS 19525. Zulu Zulu switching to uh, departure slot. Goodbye. Uh, departure, Citation Delta Bravo, Uniform Zulu Zulu, level 5000. Bravo, Uniform Zulu Zulu, Bremen Radar, good afternoon, I identify, flight level 100. Flight level 100, Delta Zulu Zulu. Okay, flight level 100, so we'll put that in. We'll go with flight level change, our speed, we're past that restriction for the altitude. It accelerates at 250. Descent flight level seven zero. And transition is at uh, 
six zero, so we'll uh, set our barrels to standard. Let out low, Libra two. Pretty high altimeter today. So uh, let's do our climb check. So the FMA is good. Uh, we'll verify the APU is off, and it says off down here as well. Uh, we're going through 10,000 feet. We'll get our landing light off now. Go through 10,000, and uh, our pressurization is set standard already. Our uniform, Zulu Zulu, contact plane radar, one, two, three, Delta Zulu, minor to five, bye-bye. One, two, three, nine, or two, five, Delta Zulu, Zulu, goodbye. Speed good, nine, six, six, hotel, descent, altitude, four, thousand. Slam, six, eight, Yankee, closing shot, limit to Unicom. There's 10,000, accelerating to 300 knots. Brand radar, citation Delta Bravo, uniform Zulu Zulu, level, flight level 100. Delta Bravo, uniform Zulu Zulu, Brand radar, low identified, climb flight level 250. Level 250, Delta Zulu Zulu. 250. Hello, Hansel 119. Selected, and we go flight level change. You can see our route to Schiphol there. That's our final fix is Echo Echo Lima. So now I'll use the Volanta app to uh, check our uh, check our weather for our ATIS-4. So we just departed out of Hamburg here, we're going down to Schiphol, and if I just zoom in and I just highlight the airport, and I click on it and it shows all the active frequencies, we're coming into Amsterdam, and I select the ATIS. And, oh, it doesn't have any ATIS information for some reason. I'll check it again later, but uh, yeah, usually it displays the information. Maybe they're just changing it. So we'll check that again in a few minutes after we level off. We can check the weather for Schiphol on here, though, so we can go to airport, AHAM, check the weather. And right now it is wind 040 at 5 knots, a variable wind 360 to 150. Uh, showing the temperature 1, 2.0, 0, 1034 for the altimeter. Have that ready to go. I don't know where you are, but you're wrong on my And we have uh, 2000. Looks like low visibility. They're giving uh, visibility reports here for the different runways. It's uh, fog right now, so and mist. Temperature 1, 2.0. Uh, so we'll have to see what the runway is going to be. It could be challenging coming in here for the approach. Might have to do, uh, I don't think we can do CAT 2 in this. Let's see how that works out. Okay, the ATIS is here now. So, uh, landing runway 6, departing 36 left. Transition level is 4 0, wind 0 4 0 5. Uh, visibility uh, 3,500 meters. And RV air available on request. Uh, a few clouds at 0, temperature 1, altimeter 1 0 3 4. So we can plan the ILS runway 6. So the arrival we're doing is the Echo Echo Lima 1 Alpha, so the Elda 1 Alpha, so let's uh, go lower these in. 
Now we had a cruise altitude of 360. Hopefully we can get that. I'll just confirm this is our final altitude. And Delta Zulu Zulu level 250, will this be our final cruise? Negative Delta Bravo Uniform Zulu Zulu. Climb flight level 360 or direct Echo Echo Lima. Okay, flight level 360, direct Echo Echo Lima, uh, Delta Zulu Zulu, thank you. Okay, good, we can get 360. Flight level change. And we can go uh, flight plan. Echo Lima Lima, direct 2, activate direct 2. We can see direct to Echo Echo Lima, and we're making the turn, so that looks good. So we're back to climb. Flight level change at 300 knots up to our select altitude of 360. So that looks good. So we'll continue that climb. And climb flight level 360, Euro Wings Okay, now we load in our uh, arrival and approach, so procedure, arrival, uh, we're planning the Echo Lima, Echo Echo Lima 1 Alpha for runway 6, and it's just four waypoints, so Echo Echo Lima, uh, Nova and Antrip 1 runway 6, so that's good, we'll load that. And then the procedure for the approach will be the ILS 6, and we'll select the. Let's see which uh, transition here is via Antrip, so. We'll have to preview these here, see how they look. The. So let's look at the Antrip 1 Bravo. That goes. We look at a preview, show on map, and that looks like the one I have on my approach plate here. So, this is the approach transition for the ILS. So, you have Antrip Pam comes down to Alpha Mike 612 and then back in for the approach. So that kind of looks like that there. So, that's the one we'll select. Uh, minimums for the approach ah, okay. are 189 feet. And we'll load that. It's not approved for GPS, so because it's an ILS, so that's loaded. Oh, you got to be careful here. Uh, when I loaded that, it kicked off the. Uh, so I need to go back. Uh, reselect direct echo Lima Lima. So let's go back to the arrival. Okay, one of three three. Uh, good afternoon. This is uh, I'm sorry, climbing uh, to uh, so the arrival. Two echo Lima Lima. Two direct to activate direct echo Lima Lima again. Yeah. So it it put in another echo Lima Lima. So you need to be careful of that for the. Uh, 10,000 feet heading 165. Agent 7825, Primera Lua, identified level 106, that are 600 feet to high, climb flight level 240. Flight level 240, Agent 7825. Correct and check your altimeter, standard QNH. Okay, be. so we'll uh, brief the approach once we level off here and we'll just. Uh, should see a top of descent here when we level off as well. You can see it on the map here, top of descent. But that will change the space on our altitude here. So let's see if I can anticipate our next frequency it would be 12575. Let's put that in the backup. Uh, descend flight level 260 uh, Delta Zulu. Okay, he wants us to descend early to 260, so I'm going to 
260. And I'm just going to go vertical speed at 1,000 feet per minute down. So there's 260, uh, vertical speed, 1,000 feet per minute down, because we're well before our top of descent, so I don't need to uh, use VNAV. And if we look at her top of descent is in two minutes, three minutes anyway, so we're starting about three minutes early for top of descent. So let's look at the, uh, we'll go back to uh, half screen here. Let's look at the uh, arrival and the approach, and then we can just uh, read those while we're looking at those. Okay, speed 290 or less, Delta Zulu Zulu. Okay, so what I'll do is I will 290, so we're 8, and then we're going to transition to 290. So what I can do for that is I can go to flight plan, VNAV, I can do descent, and I can, we have uh, descent 300, so I can just modify that, and pilot descent, and I can put 290 will be the transition. We'll stay at 0.8 and we'll leave that. So it should transition automatically to 290 once we uh, once we get down to 260, closer to that transition speed. So it'll maintain 0.8 till we get to 290 and it'll switch to 290. You can also use uh, manual. You can select 290 manually once you got there. Okay, so let's look at the uh, arrival and the approach. So the arrival. We're coming into Echo Lima Lima. We have to be 260 and below. And then Novum, and then we have to be Antrip Max 250 between 7 and 10,000 feet. So if I just uh, look in my flight plan here, and we've got Echo Lima Lima 260 or below. And then we have Antrip uh, between. Mix seven five golf contact Amsterdam radar one two four this Malay eight seven five bye bye. Contacting Amsterdam. So Antrip is based on the approach between uh, fourteen and ten thousand feet. So those are good. So what I'll do is I will select a VNAV. So that way it'll make sure because we're going to hit that. Uh, so if I select VNAV, it'll arm VNAV. And then once we hit that uh, top of descent point, it should increase our rate of descent. So we'll, we're 1,000 feet per minute. The net path is armed. Uh, we have uh, the... Echo Bravo, Echo Kilo, uh, on castle ground request, mic check. Theta Echo Bravo, Echo Kilo, is same radar, Echo 5. So we have, we should have the restriction of 260 or below. And uh, it should pick up the path and then level off at uh, Echo Lima Lima 260 or below. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then they'll probably take us for vectors for the approach, but uh, we'll just uh, brief the transition for the approach. So from Hamburg 244 Delta, climb flight. Uh, you're going to come in a PAM, uh, going overhead the airport, and then 70, first I'm going to have Alpha Mike 612, left Soski 4000 Max 220. You're going to follow in, you're going to pick up the ILS from there and transition to the ILS. The ILS frequency will be 1055, course 056. The FAF is at 2000 feet, minimums are 189, which is 200 feet. Speed 270 or less, Delta Zulu. So I'll do that manually here, it'll be faster. So I'll go manually, set my speed at 270. And you can see now the path is armed for that speed restriction. So it's going to maintain 1,000 feet per minute. The path is armed, and as soon as the Vena path comes in, it'll increase the rate of descent. Okay, 2,500 or better. And say again the frequency for Delta Zulu Zulu. It's 124.875. Goodbye. 124.875. Goodbye. Good 2,500 feet or better, so I'll put that in. 2,500 feet. I'm 
Lawrence and Amradar, Citation Delta Bravo Uniform, Zulu Zulu, uh, in descent uh, 293 for 260. Delta Bravo Uniform, Zulu Zulu, hello. Elder 1 Alpha, rifle, expect on Victory Elder 1 Alpha, check 26 right, Delta Zulu Zulu. Okay, so. Amradar, KLM 33 Juliet, flight level 100, climbing 1. Same rattle, but it's going to be the ILS 26 right, so I need to change that. So, you know. Get the plates ready for that, and then we'll switch that up. So the arrival should be fine. 260 is still the altitude. We're going to be there before Aqualima Lima, so that looks good. So let's uh, get the approach plates set up for that. So let's go change runway first. And we're going to select 26 left as the runway. Three six uh, left, I think he said. You're having seven alpha golf. Are you able Arctic to X-ray transition runway three six right? So it'll be three six left. Uh, need to look into that. But we'll I think select I that. Alpha Gold. Let me know. And Delta Zulu Zulu, just confirm uh, 36 left for us. The, for the RTIP to x ray transition, runway 36 right. 36 right. Delta Zulu Zulu, just confirm it'll be 36 right for us. Transition, runway 36 right. Uh, I think I stepped on you, Delta Zulu Zulu, confirm it'll be 36 right for us. Delta Zulu Zulu, a firm, however, the question is are you able for the RTIP to X ray transition to 36 right? Uh, stand by. So, we'll select the uh, runway for 36 right. Hello, direct RTIP. Uh, Delta Zulu Zulu, affirmative. Okay, so this is the fun thing about flying. So we'll add 36 right, and then the approach, I'll get the approach, will be the ILS 36 right and trip transition. Austrian 38 Yankee, contact Maastricht, 132 decimal 625. One three two six two five last view. Okay, so I'll load that. Delta Zulu Zulu, descent flight level one three zero. Flight level one three zero, Delta Zulu Zulu. Okay, one three zero, and I'm gonna go flight level change. Delta Zulu November, finish with your orbit request direct uh, to the field, full stop. Delta India November Roger proceed and I'm going to just load that approach so the procedure will be the approach is going to be the same so the ILS 36 right by the Antrip initial approach fix preview that and that looks correct Antrip shipple 160, 161, so that's good. Left 190, Delta Zuzu. So I'll load that. Go ahead and select left 190. So heading select, heading 190, and we do have the approach loaded, so minimums for that approach are 217, so I'll put that in. And we can now brief that approach. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the flight level change descent on right now because we're on vectors. We're down to 130. And I still have Vinyavik gauge, so I'm going to actually disable that. Yes, no, 
And we'll go back to flight level change. And flight level change, 270. So you really got to watch your modes here when you change things up. Okay, so let's just uh, brief that approach. So that approach is going to be via Antrip, and then it comes in to uh, Schiphol, and then goes back out to Alpha Mike 160, 161, 162, and then back in for the approach. The frequency will be 1195, the course will be 002, crossing the FAF at 2000 feet. Minimums are 217 for the Cat 1. Miss approach, climb and track 1002 to Alpha Mike 637 to 1500 feet. Continue to climb 2000 feet to Alpha Mike 163. So that's going to be the approach. And I'll double check the frequencies. Heading 230, flight level 100, Delta Zulu Zulu. Okay. Speed 260 indicated. 230. Flight level 100. So let's do our landing data. So let's go to our perp page, landing data. Uh, runway 36 right. The weather will load the winds and weather for that. Way 36 grade, 11,000 plus feet. Uh, Any condition, uh, we'll use auto throttle on. And we'll accept those numbers, and they're there. So let's do our descent checklist. So altitude selector is set for the approach VNAV we're not using right now. Uh, arrival weather, we checked. We loaded the landing data. That's approach and ref speeds are set. Uh, 10,000 feet, we'll get our passenger signs, we left them on the entire time, so they're still on. I'll put our landing light on now. And APU, we can turn that on now, but I'll leave it off just to save some gas. He's probably got us on vectors for spacing, and he'll eventually click clear his direct antrip again. Delta Zulu Zulu, resume on navigation, direct RTIP, cleared RTIP to x transition 369. Oh, navigation, direct RTIP, RTIP uh, to X-ray transition for 36 right Delta Zulu Zulu. Okay, so we go uh, flight plan, direct two, activate direct two, and we'll go back to nav mode. Belarus 741, speed 270, not indicated, descent to flight level 140. And I'm just going to make sure we have the right transition Belarus loaded. So procedure, it is the ILS 36 right. And trip. Heading to X ray. So we'll load that. Amsterdam, good day. Easy for the Delta. Easy for the Delta. Oh, that approach disappeared. Procedure. Approach. Trip to X ray. Uh, let's activate that. There we go. So the Antrip to X-ray. I'll just double check those waypoints. So... Private wings for 37 Tango, descent level 110, speed 260 knots. Descending 110, speed 260 knots. Mr. Dan, 3734, with you, descending to follow 260. 7 Alpha Golf, you set level 70, contact approach, 1-1 decimal 2, bye-bye. Setting 70 and contact in approach on 1-2-2 decimal 2. It's the challenge of... Frequency 1-2-1 decimal 2. Approach. 
Hamburg 24 for Delta, hello. Echo, Echo Lima, One Alpha, Rijvel. Gesprek van W36, Rijt. Die zijn toevlak daar voor 260. Echo, 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 Echo Lima, One Alpha. Hey, got this finally. Delta Zulu Zulu, die zet level 70, speed 250 knots. Level uh, 70 on speed 250, Delta Zulu Zulu. Okay, I'll just break that quickly. So speed, speed 250. 540, speed 250, other things. 70. And flight level change. So speed 250, sending flight level change. And Slow to speed 250, and down to 7,000 feet. Okay, so I found the transition, so it's going to be from Antrim, between 7 and 10, in bomb, uh, 665, 667, 668, max 180, to 669. 1212, Delta Suzu. I'm Radar, Radar, hello, sign 93 Zulu, also crossing 11. Shipple approach and the ATIS is information Kilo, Lima. Are you on QNH 1034? You are indicated on uh, 2400 feet at the moment. I have set to 12,034 Kilo. Kilo 5 Kilo, okay. Two whiskey Alpha turn left heading 030, clear to ILS 36 right. It's 8,000 for 7,000. Uh, left uh, 030 and uh, free people. Lufthansa 2 Whiskey Alpha, left heading 030, cleared ILS 36 right. ILS 030 and uh, cleared ILS 36 right, Lufthansa 2 Whiskey Alpha. Alpine 16 Kilo Lima, contact Amsterdam radar 125 decimal, correction 124 decimal 875. 124 875, Alpine 16 Kilo Lima, precies. 55 Kilo, speed 180 knots, and contact arrival on frequency band 184, call zijn only. So all those waypoints are good. It's all the way into the final approach here. Four two seven three descend to two thousand feet. Q and H one zero three four. Descend two thousand feet. Q and H one zero three four. Quality four two seven. Triple approach. Citation Delta Bravo. Uniform Zulu Zulu. Flight level seven zero. Delta Bravo. Uniform Zulu Zulu. Hello. Runway three six right. Three six right. Delta Zulu Zulu. Okay, so our descent check, I just double check everything is good, so oh, next we just have the landing checklist to go. I'm going to double check the frequencies are set properly for that approach. So audio panel, and it is 1195, so And they should transition automatically over when I activate vectors, or activate the approach, or activate the uh, final approach portion. Good evening, this is Caleb 1981, So we're below... 10,000 feet, speed 250, I'm going to go back to FMS mode. Delta Zulu Zulu, descent to flight level 40. Send flight level 40, Delta Zulu Zulu. So it'll manage the speed there. And if we have any speed restrictions, which we do, it'll follow those. So 4,000 flight level change. Yeah, because we have a speed restriction uh, on the uh, transition there. And it should be in here, so we can just double check. You see the speed restriction 180 at uh, Alpha 668. So unless he wants a different speed, I'll, uh, I'll keep it in FMS mode. So here's the Schiphol Airport. They have uh, three parallel runways and two more cross, three more crossing runways. So landing three six right. So I'll exit here and we'll probably park at GA parking over here somewhere. That's uh, five thousand four thousand. Six four contact arrival one one eight four call sign only. KLM 1981, contact Amsterdam, radar 124. Lots of traffic around Amsterdam here. 
It's a lot of work uh, doing a single pilot, uh, I'm sure. Even in a simulated environment here in Vassin, when you go to a busy airport like Amsterdam, when they're having an event, it's very, very challenging when they change things up on you all the time. Eurowing 7 Alpha Golf, descent 2000 feet, QNH 1034. But very realistic. Sending 2000, QNH 1034 and speed 220 knots, Eurowing 7 Alpha Golf. Transavia 8XD, climb flight level 50 and contact Amsterdam radar 125.750. So level 50 and 125.750, thank you and good luck. Amsterdam approach, good evening to KLM 60 Victor, speed 250, descending to 70. November Echo Uniform, turn right heading 325, clear dialers. So the transition has us coming around. We have to slow down, I think, by here. Easy 225, contact Amsterdam radar 125, decimal 750. See, there's no more altitude restrictions on this transition. Kelm 60, Victor, hello, descent flight level 40. The next, uh, so you can see the, uh, Kelm 60, the background. Victor, hello, we have our uh, ILS frequencies set, our ILS track is set, and the localizer. Delta Zulu Zulu, speed 220 knots. Speed 220, Delta Zulu. So I'm going to put it in manual and then set the speed at 220. Actually, that, that had a restriction here at uh, Alpha Mike 656, so it was 220. So, it's going to leave it at FMS. Speed 250, descend to flight level 50. Speed 250, descend to 50, Alpha 9 and 2 technical. So, you see the speed restriction 220 at uh, Alpha Mike 665. So, I'll just leave it at FMS. Uh, Next speed restriction will be 180. Speed 220. Oh. That's a weather jump by uh, same there, so it had a weather shift. November Echo Uniform, speed 160 until 4, contact tower 119.225. Sixty until four and one one nine two two five uh, November Echo Uniform. Eurowing seven Alpha Gold, speed one eight zero. Speed one eight zero, Eurowing seven Alpha Gold. Yeah, you get those weather bumps for Alpha just as like a shift. Alpha nine two ten November, contact arrival, call sign only one one eight four. One eight four with the call sign nine two ten November, Tosi. Hi. Delta Zulu Zulu, descent two thousand feet, Q and H one zero three four. 2,000 feet, 1034, Delta Zuzu. 2,000 feet. I'll uh, go flight level change. We'll set our altimeter. And that is 53. Yeah, there's no, there's no hectopathic scales on this uh, standby, so you kind of have to convert it. And if I look at the Volanta, the tower frequency is 19225. Put that in as backup. Neptune 2 Hotel, hello, descent level 40, runway 06. Descent 40, runway 06, Neptune 2 Hotel. Delta Zulu Zulu, speed 180. Speed 180, Delta Zulu Zulu. So the speed will automatically slow to 180 for this restriction here. Bella Rose 7 for 1, hello, runway 36 right, descent level 40. See the next restriction has 80, so. I'll just let it do Delta itself. Delta Zulu, turn right, heading 260. Right, 260, Delta Zulu. Private wings 370, Delta Zulu, QNH 1034. 2000 feet, QNH 1034. And you can see it's already targeted uh, 180 knots. Up on clocks 1 out. Uh, calls on only 1184. 
So flaps one would go to 200, but 180 is the restriction, so that's what it's going to go to. Now I can come down and select the approach. So we're on vectors. Right, 270, Delta Suzu. So he's tightening us up on the approach, and so I'm going to go to procedure, and I'm going to activate vectors to final, which will switch us over to FMS. That's correct, school vector tower, 119225. And we got, just double check that that frequency is 1195, that's good. And the idents are good, ABA, and yeah, and the course is set at 002, so that's all good. So we're level 2000, oh, went back to 100, 200 knots for some reason, I'm going to select 180 manually. Canada Well, because I uh, activated vectors to final, it bumped back up to 200, so. Delta Zulu Zulu, turn right, heading 330, cleared ILS approach, runway 36 right. Right, 330, cleared ILS approach, 36 right, Delta Zulu Zulu. Right, 330, we cleared the approach, yeah, so because I activated the approach, it got rid of that speed restriction, so it bumped up to 200, so we're going to arm the approach now, we're clear the approach on that heading. After the approach, 373, 4, Locus Arm, flies Locus Arm. 373, hello, speed 250, I'm going to put the engine in going to be in the cloud here. Speed 250, descent to 4,000, And I'll just double check the missed approach, so we'll put 2,000 feet will be our missed approach out speed 160 until 4, contact tower, 160 till 4, and then 19... 225 Delta Zuzu, thanks, goodbye. Private Rings 37 Tango, clear to ILS approach, we might 369. So 160 on the speed. Localizer's captured. I'll set my heading of 002. Echo 4 cross 369 now. Echo 4 cross 369. Fly slopes coming in. Ground the other side. Negative. We'll go to flaps 2. Taxi on short golf 2, runway 2 2. After cross, hold short, uh, golf 2, runway 2 2, fraction field alpha. Yeah, Delta 4 on zero 4. And the uh, bypass coming in. Citation Delta Bravo, uniform Zulu Zulu, 6 miles final, 3 6 right. Runway 3 6 right, clear to land here, going 7 alpha goal. India, NMI 1 3 4 left, clear for takeoff to wind 0 6 0 at 4. India 1 3 4, clear Delta Bravo, Uniform Zulu, Zulu, Yam, number 2, the wind 0 of 6 0 at 4. Delta Zulu. Wind 3604, number 2. 5 2, Uniform Zulu, continue. So maintain the speed till 4 miles. So once we uh, get 4 miles, I'll put flaps final. We'll do our landing checklist and we'll slow down to approach speed of 2. 122. We'll anticipate the uh, ground frequency of 1217 or 8. Just be careful you don't hit transfer if you put those frequencies in ahead of time. Okay, there's our distance Delta, for full flaps. Um, to the right, echo 4, expedite forgetting. Delta Zulu, Zulu, we'll go. Zulu, Zulu, runway 36 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 36 right, Delta Zulu, Zulu. Okay, we'll slow to 122. Your pre-landing check, uh, gears down, flaps are full. Anti-ice is uh, on, on the engines. Skill 11, 822, continue vector 4. Speed brake is uh, retracted, cast checked. We have uh, just engine any ice on and starting to see the approach lights. And he wants us to expedite our. Uh, by Echo 4. Echo 4. 
Bauung Lieferschiffsburg, located 06 on 43. 500 feet. Reducing final approach, private wings 3, 7 Tango. AC 564, contact 1 on SMO 7. 117, easy tracer, thanks for the hotel. There's minimums coming up. Autopilot slowing to rough speed. Uh, Delta Zulu Zulu, I can make Echo 1 if that works for you. Delta Zulu Zulu, uh, make it Echo 3 or Echo 4 to the right, please. Echo, uh, I can make Gulf 5. Ah, uh, that's fine, yeah. Okay, we'll exit Gulf 5, straight ahead here. Everlast 25, Sulu, Tango, your number 2, the wind 0, 6, 0, at 4. Versers are stowed. Steeple Tower, good evening, easy, 7, 5, Alpha Uniform. And we'll make it uh, right here on Gulf 5. Everlast 7, 2, 4, 2, 3, 6, left, clear for takeoff, the wind 0, 6, 0, at 4. Okay, we're clear on Gulf 5. Private wings 370, runway 36 right, clear to wind 06 0 at 4. Get our flaps up. APU is coming on. Gulf 5, cross runway 2 2, to Gulf Lima. Gulf 5, cross 2 2, left on Gulf to Gulf Lima, Delta Zulu Zulu. FLAN 7242, we're passing 2000 feet, contact 1 on SMO 2. 1 to 1. Okay, we'll get our tax light on, landing lights off. Keep the tower, good evening, please. Well, welcome to Schiphol. That was uh, definitely a challenging uh, arrival, so we're clear to cross. Left on Gulf, which is just past the runway here. Delta Zulu, Zulu, thanks for the cooperation. Contact Crown to land on SMA, bye bye. 218, uh, Delta Zulu, Zulu, no problem, goodbye. Get him 4 to 1 behind, uh, departing, Scandinavian line up away, runway 36 left, Victor 4 behind. Okay, we'll uh, switch to ground. Uh, line up away, uh, 36. Yes. Festival ground, uh, much better now. Alright, uh, Reiner, one, two, three, two, three, 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 for Hotel 4, uh, I'll call you back in about a minute. Uh, we're going to be standing by here for a runner once you're Ground, uh, Citation Delta Bravo, Uniform Zulu Zulu on Gulf for uh, GA parking. Delta Zulu Zulu, to the kill apron at Gulf of Victory Change of Proof. Uh, Gulf Zulu Zulu, you're broken, say again. Uh, Zulu Zulu, take two kilo at Golf Lima, frequency chase proof. Golf Lima, check. Delta Zulu Zulu. So, Golf Lima. Gonna find out where that is. Speed at 41, crap. Good 
I think of Lima is... Papa Whiskey, uh, Fox uh, 3, 7, Tingo, hello. Oh, Golf Lima, um, yeah, it's up for their head here. Five, so. so let's see where this takes us. So Golf Lima is just up on the right uh, yeah, a little ground, bit. Uh, Speedbird 431 is ready for taxi. Speedbird 431, 52, holding runway 36. So let's do our... Uh, Bravo. At whiskey five cross run bike three six seven. After landing checklist, thrust reversers are stowed, flaps are retracted, uh, ice protection. Uh, we can shut that zero, off six, for now. Speedbird four three one, did you copy? And yeah, uh, exterior four, lights are taxi light is on. Five, clear across and APU seven. is running, That's so correct. we're good to go. Ryanair one two uh, Charlie. And golf lead is up on the right. Please move through, Charlie. Also, Bank 3, 7, Tango, Echo 2. Whiskey Fox 3, sending a left on Alpha and taxi stand to the other track, sir. Alpha, stand Delta 5. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to find three, these uh, taxiways, I'll just show you. So, I was looking at all these golf theme as this five, little taxiway five, right five, here. Five, one, Ryanair, one, two, Charlie. Oh, yeah. So it should be the next one coming up on the right here. One, two, Charlie. Yeah, I returned it. Just back so you can get another one if needed. Uh, you, you can push, but uh, just push, uh, let's say, a beam hotel five, so I can uh, push uh, your company on your left hand side as well. I uh, will go for one day, Charlie. I think it should be this one right here. Yep, Golf Lima. Sometimes I get a better view of the taxiways looking outside here. It's hard to read them when you're inside the cockpit. This is Golf Lima. And we can just park at one of these stands to the left here. Oh, we have guys waiting for us on Lima. Uh, Lufthansa 2016, uh, pushing start approved. Uh, being it's almost There's like they knew where we were going to go. Four, hold up five as well. So. That's again 2016, um, pushing approved, and um, traffic is on set. KLM 60 Victor, requesting taxi to gate. KLM 60 Victor, hold position. Hold position, KLM 60 Victor. Some ground uh, speed, but uh, I can't believe there's somebody here waiting for us. Speedbird 1041 Hotel Alpha. Go. Okay, there we go. Speedbird 1041 Hotel Alpha Delta. Parking brake is set. Neo IFR to London APU is running, and we can shut both edges off. Speedbird Hotel Alpha, contact. And welcome to Amsterdam. I'm just going to get rid of this ATC here. One, two, one, Look, two, one, five. Three, four, one, well, welcome to Amsterdam. Okay, that was a challenging flight. Uh, definitely lots of stuff going on. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, puts the citation through his paces. Like I said, I'm more than happy to fly this airplane on VATSIM, especially in a difficult environment like that. It's a lot of work doing a single pilot, but it is doable and everything functions. You just have to really keep on top of what's going on in your FMA here, like when speeds change, when make sure you're in the correct mode for speed and FMS. Uh, so my advice is, is if you're using this airplane on VATSIM is always double check what is active in your FMA and what it's doing in terms of uh, speed, whether you're in VNAV or whether you want to be in VNAV, uh, definitely very challenging. Uh, but it's doable and it's a lot of fun and makes flying this air, uh, sim Microsoft Flight Simulator very realistic, so hope you enjoyed today's flight. Uh, appreciate it if you uh, enjoyed the video. If you could hit that uh, like button, share if you liked it, subscribe, sign up for notifications. And uh, yeah, it was a definitely a challenging flight. Uh, thanks for joining me today, and uh, we'll see you next time on the uh, Bandit Flight Simulator channel. Bandit out.